kayaking out in uh, Vegas State Park. It's Vegas Lake. Vegas. Vegas. Vega. 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 There's Jeff. He's he's first time on that uh, kayak. Look at that thing. It worked very good. He's, he's I don't think we explained it very well. <laughs> Dan taught me everything I know. Well, not everything. Hi guys, it's Dan and Becky from Bugs on the Windshield. And today we're going to show you one of the best parts about camping at Vegas State Park. So stay tuned and we're going to show you what it was. Yep. Stay tuned. So one of the best things about about Vega State Park is the lake. We're really close to the lake, so we went down to the dock, and uh, we we launched our kayaks from there. Yeah, there's a dock that's really close to our mm -hmm. campsite, so it's easy to get. I mean, we uh, drove them there, but it wasn't like it was very far at all. Right. I think if the reservoir or the, or the lake had been full, we maybe could have gone somewhere else, somewhere closer, but it was uh, just too too easy to take it down to the dock, which uh, I think we looked it up the other day, and doesn't that lake have about three docks? Yeah, there's three docks on that one, and, mm -hmm. and we our campsite was near one of them. And the nice thing about what we were uh, getting in at, there's not a whole lot of boats or, that were going in on the, at this uh, particular dock at the time. Well, there's or one, launch, I, I think, yeah, there's launch. one kind of that launched from there as we left the first time, but it didn't bother us at all. They were pulled up there next to the dock picking up people and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, and like I said, yeah. and then once they got into the water, they were gone. So the area that we were kayaking was pretty much uh, free of any uh, power boats or anything like that. Yeah, so. no, no, um, you know, no wakes or anything. Yeah. It felt like we were the only ones out there sometimes. I think there were some other folks with paddle boards. Yeah, our, our neighbors actually that were camping yeah. with us, they actually had some paddle boards um, and they were out there once when we were out. Our friends just bought some um, inflatable kayaks and uh, just before the trip and they were able to get them out this time and really that was kind of fun to watch them <laughs> be out on the lake, you know, for the first time. Yeah, first time with in these inflatable kayaks getting and used to them. Yeah. We had the 360 camera out there uh, some of the time on Dan's little floatable uh, tripod. <laughs> and then we also, you know, sometimes held it or whatever, but we sure did enjoy it. Uh, we really like using that camera. It kind of yeah. gave us a, you know, a really good view of the lake and each other. And <laughs> we're getting more and more use out of it. Yeah. Um, almost more than the uh, GoPros now because we're getting more uh, options for videos mm -hmm. and more, more perspectives. You can see our camper from the lake. The scenery was really beautiful out here. You could see, you know, mountains all around and the water was really pretty. Yeah, it was a pretty lake. I agree.
not having a very good time getting to the shore. Wow, look at you go. Yeah, I'm pretty fast, but it sure wore me out. It did? Yeah. You were tired after that? I was that. tired. <laughs> Me and Jeff switched out kayaks to uh, try each other's out. Which one did you like best? Uh, I like mine better. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, they're both pretty good. It, it does have some advantages with the uh, blow up because you can uh, I'm definitely, you know, space wise and carrying it's a lot easier. Um, and once it's set up, it's not too bad. Easy to get into. But uh, I do. Is it easy to get out of as well? It's not too bad to get out of. It was easy enough to get out of. Well, there you go, you're racing. Yeah. <laughs> I think we went this way. Yeah, me and Jeff were exploring this little, uh, oh, I'd call it a canal, but uh, maybe a little stream that came off the lake. Uh, so you really couldn't, uh, like, just dock and get out. And, uh, in fact, we kind of disappear because yeah. the grass was pretty high. Yeah. Um, it was wide enough for us to actually turn around in it, but... Uh, did you guys go all the way down in there, or did it dead end or anything? It, it, it uh, ended a little ways past what you see here. Got it where it's too shallow really to kind of go any farther in. Oh, okay. We got scared. Was there snakes? No, no snakes. No snakes? No snakes. Please we didn't see any snakes. Saw a crocodile. Yikes.
<laughs> you know, that was funny. <laughs> With you? No, no, no. Yes. <laughs> you could go right in the gutter. Yeah, you started giggling. <laughs> Uh oh, nothing else to talk about. The scenery was beautiful. Uh, the lake was really pretty. I wish we could get out there again and kayak. And it makes me want, just watching this video makes me want to get out there and go again. Yeah, I mean, it was beautiful weather. And uh, right now we're uh, 27 degrees. Yeah, we're cold. It's so cold it's here. Cold. <laughs> it it's almost be. Christmas, though. It's supposed to be cold. And, uh, uh, you know, yeah. it's December. But it is always fun to work on the videos from the summer to uh, kind of look back and see how right. nice it was. It gets us through the these cold months, and uh, we look forward to getting out there in the you know warmer months to have some fun. And uh, we're way far behind, of course, on these videos. This happened back in um, July, so we still have a lot more videos to get through for the year. We still have at least one more for this trip, I think. Yeah, we we still have the we we'll still have the video of us. Uh, doing our sightseeing around the uh, area. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. and don't forget sometimes you're the windshield and sometimes you're bugs on the windshield. Uh, we'll see you next time. Oh wait we didn't get to say bye yet. Oh, yeah. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. Bye. bye. Now do it. Be safe out there. Can you see now? Today we're going to show you one of the funnest things, the funnest, the most funnest, the be, very, the funnest. One of the good things we can do. It. One of the good things. It's a good thing. One of the good things. One of the good things. It's a good thing. It's good for people. It's good, good for us. It's good for us. It's good for other it's people. It's fun to do. Right. It's good. It's, it's, it's good. It's good. It's the goodest. Okay, anyway, try it again. Okay. Hi guys, it's Dan and Becky from Bugs on the Windshield. And we're going to take you with us today. We're going to show you. Here's what we're going to do. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> this is the hardest part for me. Okay. okay let's start with the one thing All we right. do. The one thing that we do. Mm -hmm. What's that one thing we do? That thing we do? <laughs> that thing we do. <laughs> we do that thing? Bugs, you, window, <laughs> Okay, me. yeah, I got it. Okay. Windshield. Okay. <laughs> window. I don't know what it's called. Don't you look cute? The haircut. <laughs> Don't you look cute without a haircut? Not a haircut. Remember when we were first dating and you had that mullet? I don't remember <laughs> that. That was so cute. I don't think there's any proof of that. Well, here's a picture. And more jabaji baji baby. And more jabaji bajis. <laughs> I don't know how I was going with that. I always work on the jabaji bajis. <laughs> <laughs> That's get, the new program they have. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>